I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP 14-CK00004 model here. And this laptop uh, comes with an what's called a 4 gig RAM. I made a video how to upgrade the RAM to boost up the RAM on this one. And in this video I'm going to show you guys and take you on step by step how to can make it much faster by just replacing your mechanical hard drive with a solid state drive and as we know the SSDs are much faster than the mechanical drive and by doing this you boost the performance humongously so I would suggest you guys to grab any of the SSDs that you can get preferably get a Samsung brand don't go with a Kingston or Adata or Adata go with a Crucial or go with a Samsung brand in this case I have a Kingston because a client brought it in and he wants to place this one in here so I can't uh, convince them to go with a different brand but it's still good but the durability on the Kingstons are really low also uh, this video is applied for any 14-CK models so if you have any CK model series this video is for you and also uh, remember uh, once you replace your hard drive with a solid state drive you turn on your laptop it will tell you there is no boot media so that means there is no windows installed in here i already made a video how to create your windows 10 usb boot drive i'll leave that link in the video description so you can follow that and you create your own usb windows 10 installation on your usb also i made another video how to install Windows 10 on an any HP laptop. Follow that. It doesn't have to be specifically this model. And follow the exact procedures how to install it. I'll give you a tricks inside those videos how to install it exactly proper way without having any blood words. And it takes about five to ten minutes to do that. Both of those links are in my video description. And in this video, we're just gonna go through how to upgrade it. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You are going to flip it upside down. You want to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I suggest always to use the iFixit screwdriver set. They have an S2 class steel bit. You're going to use a Philip number one. You can get the Pro set, which will give you an opening tool. But if you don't want to get the Pro set, grab any guitar pick, a metallic one, because these are suitable to opening covers plastics. With these two on hand, you will need a curved tweezers. Again, you can purchase this apart or get that on a pro set which comes included. All right. At the bottom of your laptop, you're going to realize that there's only two screws right here on the front end of the laptop. These are black colored screws. You're going to go ahead and remove these screws. These are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. And there is more hidden screws in here. There's a one hidden screw on the left side. If you upside down the laptop, the front is facing you. There is one right away here from the left, five centimeters to remove that. Just put the opening tool right under the rubber and lift it up. It has a little adhesive. Lift it up gently. Don't lift it up all the way here. Don't bend it like that. Otherwise, you're going to crack the rubber. Just make sure you lift it up this way and remove this tiny screw. This is a chrome screw, it's the same as those black colored ones. All right, now there's a three screws under the back rubber cover, so go ahead and remove the entire back rubber. Just start from one corner, lift it up and pull it out. And put it to one side and go ahead and remove these three screws. Also, I realize there's only 1% of my viewers that subscribe to my channel. If you find my content helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by just subscribing and clicking the like button on the video. I'll greatly appreciate it. And it will be a tremendous support for me. All right, with all the screws removed, what you want to do, you want to open up the laptop a little bit. And you want to grab your opening tool. Stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. And now you want to twist it uh, towards the outside. And you're going to hear some clicks. Do you want to hear those? clicks so go all around and make sure you hear those clicks once you do the front 
I'm going to do it this way so you guys can see. Take it between the covers and just twist it towards the outside. Go all the way to the back corner. Do the left and right side. Once you did the left and right, gently close the laptop. Flip it upside down. And what you want to do, you want to release first this side where there's an SD card read and a single USB port you have. So put your thumb by the hinge right here. Hold it really tight and grab the cover from here with your hand. Just grab the cover and just pull it out and it should come out. Once you lift it up, pull the cover towards the rest of the I.O. side on the other side. Just wiggle it around so you can release the rest. Otherwise, you don't want to break this tiny plastic here. Now, that's the bottom cover. And down here, you're going to see the hard drive, the mechanic one right in front of you. To remove this one, you do not need to remove the battery to remove the hard drive, but people are always like, I know you must remove it. Honestly, you don't. We never do. But for those people that are going to start crying about that, you should remove. Here we go. We're going to remove the battery by removing every chrome screw that is touching the battery power. Go ahead and remove all the screw that touches the battery. This battery, it is missing one single screw on this side, so you should have one screw more than me. Once you remove the screw, just grab it right here by the jack and lift it up and pull it out. Because this one right here goes under this plastic, so you have to release this one. Remove the, the battery. Now we can work on the lap on the hard drive. The hard drive has a flex cable attached to the adapter right here. So they remove the flex cable. To remove the flex cable, all you need to do is lift up this jack right here, upward 90 degrees, and slide out the uh, flex cable right there. Now you can go ahead and lift up. Don't pull out on the cable. Lift up from this side upward and bring it up. This is a 500 gig uh, mechanical drive. It has a little rubber on the side. These are the caddy that holds it in place. First, gently, you want to peel off this uh, flex cable. It has a little adhesive to it. Peel it off. Bring it up gentle. And now you want to remove this adapter by putting your finger right here. And pulling it up. Pull it up and remove the adapter. Once the adapter is removed, put it to one side, make sure you grab the new hard drive or SSD, make sure the orientation for this SATA and the power has to be in the same orientation. So don't put it the other way around, otherwise it's gonna be flipped. So what you wanna do, you wanna grab, unhook this plastic on the side, remove, Put it to one side and on the same position, grab the SSD, bring it on and snap it in place and make sure it hugs it nicely. Now grab the adapter. The adapter only goes in one way. So place the adapter in there. And that's it. Now all you need to do is to bring the hard drive, put one side down and Align it, make sure it goes in nicely, all the way in. Push it down, it's nice and snugly right there. Now you want to grab this flex cable. As you can see, this flex cable has a little earlobes on the sides. So you can't simply just slide under the jack. It has to come down in 45 degree inside the jack. And it's like a landing and plane. Bring it in 45 degree and push it towards the motherboard. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring it towards the jack in 45 degree angle all the way in. I wanted to you guys to see it. Let me see if I do it this way, you guys can see it. So put my finger there, then you won't be able to see it. So I'm going to grab it here. Bring it down in 45 all the way inside the jack. Has to go, the earlobe has to go inside. Once the earlobe is inside, then you can set it down towards the motherboard and now you can lock it down in place. Otherwise, the hard drive is not going to be detected. All right, with that said, now we're going to grab the battery, bring the battery, put down the back side first, the front end of the laptop down under the 
in there and then push the connector towards the jack place all the chrome screws on the battery and the last part is to grab the bottom cover make sure where you have the IO side and the internet port jack grab it and scoop it in in 45 degrees just make sure you grab it and pinch it down make sure you hear some clicks in here and then put it down and squeeze the front end go to the back side to the other corner and back middle make sure you hit those clicks and the last thing would be to just grab the chrome screws put it under the rubber legs and the black ones in front end of the laptop again i hope you guys like this video and it helped you guys to do your own upgrade for your hp laptop 14 ck uh, series and if you have any question or request feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can and again if you guys want to support the channel you can do it by subscribing and clicking that like button as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video